it's like putting on the uniform and, uh, and going back to, uh, to training. And uh, I feel great about it because uh, it hands the torch to a new generation. To continue this and have something that uh, we started with such fun, uh, it's, uh, it's a legacy that began with my great grandfather's work uh, in spiritualism. And so it feels great to be back uh, in the jumpsuit and, and doing it, obviously. I feel privileged uh, that uh, audiences still want to see Ghostbusters. To hand the torch to this talented group uh, is really gratifying, and uh, they are, you know, they're ta they're taking it with great uh, vigor and commitment, and so for me to uh, to be able to you know, bridge the generations, it's, uh, it's really, really fulfilling and satisfying. And they are quite outstanding, this cast. Yeah, they're, they're big stars all in their own right. But, um, and now they're Ghostbusters for life. I can't imagine doing another one or two or three without them now. Garaka is a, a demonic, uh, powerful, entity or even a god um, who uh, basically wants the undead to rule the world. If he gets out, then we have him uh, able to control um, a, a legion of ghosts uh, to his own devices and uh, to basically end, you know, living humankind as we know it. It's big. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's got a wide range of, uh, visual, uh, texture and, um, you know, you can't do these movies small, uh, yeah, and you have to do them right and you have to do them so that the, the characters and the effects are believable and that, uh, you know, that takes resources and time and effort, um, and everyone's putting all of that into this, so. It's going to be a big, it's not for streaming. This is going to be a big, you know, 40 by 20 foot for the big screen movie that they don't make many of them anymore like this.